A well-written HR report that is analytical and full of insight is very useful for business decision making. And most of the time, you don't necessarily need any complex analytical tool to create the HR reports. Your native Microsoft Excel is sufficient to get the job done. On today's episode of Human Resource Insight, where I simplify human resource concepts, I will be looking at how to make HR report using Excel. Why the buzz around human resource or HR reports? Uh, HR report in human resources is becoming a vital document for business decision making. It's critical also for you to know what an HR report is. An HR report is used to display human resources statistics, human resources insight and metrics. People is the most important asset of any organization and it is critical that from time to time on a periodic fashion, there needs to be a reporting, an analytical way to show the various important insights, insights and statistics such as the employee headcount per time, numbers of hires, are there numbers of exit, uh, what is the employee turnover rate. Now, each of these critical statistics are usually contained in an HR report. Now, for your HR report to make sense, for your HR report to be able to help decision making, it has to be analytical in nature, meaning giving an analytical HR report that gives you a descriptive fashion of the statistics of the organization a descriptive fashion as to the demographics the workforce demographic in a descriptive fashion telling you what has happened being able to use historical hr data to tell a story you are able to visualize the data in such a way that it can now make a data story that at that point is very useful to the business rather than having an hr report that is full of stories you need to make the hr report visual and we're going to be using our native microsoft excel which is the simplest analytical tool that you should get familiar with to do all of this in order for you to use excel for hr report it's important that you should visualize the data so the HR data needs to be visualized. And in order for you to visualize the HR report, getting familiar with the data visualization options in Excel is very critical. Now, what are some of those uh, critical data visualization options in Excel? We're talking about Excel chart for HR report. The first one that is very critical is the use of your column or your bar chart. This is usually used when you need to do comparison. Just as you can see from the image here that at a glance, it is easier to know which is the highest quantity. So if you do the demographics of your employee, you should be able to know which is the highest demographics in terms of millennials in terms of baby boomers in terms of generation z at a glance so your column or your bar chart is useful for comparison another critical excel charting option you need to get familiar with is the use of your line chart your line chart is very useful when you need to show trend with time trend over a period of time a typical hr metric that is interesting to track over how it changes over a period of time is your employee turnover rate so when you check your turnover on em employee turnover on a month-on-month -month basis and year-to-year -year basis illustrating the values over using a line chart would go a very long way to visualize the data even within your hr uh, report then your pie chart your pie chart is useful for proportion if you're trying to illustrate the gender distribution within the organization a very typical chart that would drive home the point easily and faster would be your pie chart because it can give you the percentage on the entire population that are male and female each of this we're going to be getting into excel to illustrate them right away
platform this is an already processed uh, hr data uh for you to know how to actually process your hr data into the form uh that i will currently have here uh there's an earlier episode that i did on excel for hr analytics uh you can actually see on the call on the card above my head uh right about now just check up there and you'll see the link uh to be able to watch that particular episode uh watching that episode on how to use excel for hr analytics would give you a foundational knowledge and this using it uh making hr reports using excel is like building on that particular initial episode so this is an already processed hr data uh, and showing the numbers of frequency now your excel charting option that we're going to be using is all found on that your insert so on that insert uh, if you come here depending on which version of excel you're using i'm using office 365 now Microsoft 365 so uh this is your column chart uh if i if i put my cursor on the column chart you see that it tells you what a column chart is uh it is usually used to compare values across few categories so if you want to make comparison so if what i want to do now is that if i want to make comparison among which of the demographic is actually the highest from this table it may not be clear but if i put it in a graphical on a visualized a data visualization form it becomes clearer so what i'll be using now would be the column chart the difference between your column chart and uh your bar chart is that your column chart is vertical while your bar chart is horizontal so i'm going to highlight the data that i want to work with i'm not going to pick the uh total for this illustration uh, because that means the total will be part of the graph but i don't want it to show in my column chart so I, I come here and i pick my column chart the very first one and there you have you have each of the data now illustrated and it is now very clear from the column chart we have here that the highest number of employees are actually within the 31 to 40 age range now this particular illustration can also be done uh using the demographics uh using whether millennials generation z uh one, all you need to do is to use an excel if statement to break them into the various age uh range that they are supposed to be part of so you have the is now 31 to 40 then followed by 41 to 50 then you would see that the numbers of 18 to 25 which is most likely the generation z uh is actually very low so at this at a glance it makes uh a bit of um it, it, it is able to tell the data story better because it's now in a visualized form the other thing you can now try to do is to give the chart uh a just give it a chart a title remember what we want to do is to create the chart in excel and take it into either powerpoint or microsoft word where we'll be able to now present the report itself so employee age distribution so that's the employee age distribution uh in excel so that you can see well visualized you can as well change the colors of each of this the first time you click on it everything is like uh, highlighted uh but here you are in simple form so this is ready you can do further customization but for now i will just leave it as it is uh, so you can see you can resize to whatever shape that you so desire also very similar to this is uh i have employee length of service illustrate this as well this time around let me use a bar chart to illustrate i go to insert the excel charting options are here i use this initially i want to use the bar chart this time around so i have it as a bar chart and i can resize and remember to change the title this is employee length of service so here you are employee length of service and it's easy from this illustration that uh the i the num the highest number of employees are found within the five to seven uh length of service 
So that gives you an idea. You can now begin to tell data story. Uh, you can now look at this employee age distribution and now write in your report that we may be having an issue in the next five years because if you look at this age, uh, if you have the largest number of employees between 31 and 50 years, it means that in the next 10 years, each of these guys will be getting close to retirement. And if you don't populate between your 18 to 30 years, it means in the next 10 years, you, you, you already have what we call an aging population. So you need to bring in newer people uh, which are lesser aging to the organization just for continuity's sake. So that's a typical data story that you can have in your report. Then here you can begin to see that uh, a larger percentage of individuals have stayed longer in the organization that can speak to employee retention uh, basically because they've stayed longer then uh, you now also have your gender distribution so for this particular gender distribution i'm going to be using a pie chart to illustrate because we're trying to show what we call proportion so i will use both uh, your normal pie chart and i will also use the donut chart just to illustrate the difference between the two so you highlight the chart the file then go to donut chart so you can see the difference uh the major difference between the two is that your donut has the circle in the middle while your normal pie chart is just circular then you can choose to add uh the title always remember to add a title to your chart this one i'll call it employee gender distribution okay employee gender distribution then uh for the second one uh since it's just a replica is the same depending on which of which of the choices you choose so i just copied and brought that here now the other customization i can do to the pie chart is just to uh these are the legend i want the if i want the percentage to show uh more visibly all i need to do is to click on the chart then i go to uh the contextual tab the chart design then on the left side you will see your quick layout so i pick the one you can see as i pick it uh you can see there are changes going on I think I want, uh, so depending on whichever one you want, if I want this particular one, I can leave it that way. You can see the legend is out, then I can, can also you can change the colors. All I need to do is to highlight uh, the charts in terms of the writings there, the text, then I can change it to white, which is a bit more visible and I can still do further customization to increase or decrease then this can now be taken into your powerpoint or your excel file and be able to make presentation from there then the last um, part of the conversation is we want to illustrate your line chart so this time around i have attrition rate or employee turnover rate from 2013 to 2018 so this can actually be illustrated using a line chart because we're trying to show trend is it increasing is it decreasing or what exactly is happening over the time period how is the turnover rate changing then another interesting thing if you are using microsoft 365 you can actually use the recommended charting option which tends to give you more options so let me use uh so if you are unsure as to what chart you want to use to illustrate your data or not you can actually if you're using microsoft 365 or 2016 or 2013 i think it's available in 2013 as well just use the recommended charting option if you click on the recommended charting option you see a lot of options and you can pick the one that is suitable for illustration now since this is a trend uh using a column chart would not tell any particular story but if i use a line chart in this case it's called scatter but it's a line chart connecting each of them together you can easily see the connection that uh the in 2013 uh you can see what the figure is then it it had a peak in 2015 then it dropped to 2017 and started to pick up again this way if i pick this particular one you can easily see that 
there is a trend in the attrition rate so let me just so let me add the title attrition rate over uh, this is actually a six year period six year period so that's the title for this and it's easy to um from that illustration to see how the turnover rate if it was in a tabular form it may not be very obvious but now that it's in a chart uh it's easier to really uh see the trend in the data and all that okay so now that i'm done uh with each of the charts i can now take this into uh, a powerpoint slide or an ex on a microsoft word document so let me just copy this and i go to my plain powerpoint and just paste in there and there you are uh, i can actually make this into a presentation as you can see and if i choose to make this into a presentation uh that's what it's going to look like and this can be part this is actually making sense as part of my report the same way you can bring in the other ones into powerpoint and make a presentation from there so uh that's uh how to create how to make hr reports using excel so thank you very much for uh watching this particular episode of hr insight see you in the next episode